Hey Internet, uh, I don't think it's any secret that there's a general uh, distrust in the main political parties that exist out there, uh, lots of cynicism um, from the general public and these days they're facing a strong competition from NGOs and charities. Um, I can honestly see um, some NGOs, non-profit organisations perhaps uh, putting representatives into ballots in the future. You might see the likes of uh, Greenpeace or 38 Degrees or Amnesty International or Stop the War Coalition uh, on your ballot sheets in future elections. Um, the main political parties are largely broke these days. Um, they have very low memberships, um, significantly lower memberships than some significant charities um, and, and unions. And they, they're reliant on the pet donations from individuals, um, wealthy corporations, a, a small number of people, and it, it's, it visibly skews their policies. Um, but what's interesting is that because we've had this trend of neoliberal um, state shrinking and privatization, it's, it's created gaps and opportunities for charities. And so instead of services being provided through general taxation, people uh, can voluntarily give their money to services they particularly care about, if it's um, animal welfare, environment, uh, homelessness, whatever it is, but it's, it's actually a pretty competitive market out there. Um, and it's, it's similar to one of corporations in the sense that each time you're giving your money to any corporation, you're effectively empowering them and you're empowering them to change the world. Um, through their own lobbying and more importantly through their business practices if they're exploiting labor, child labor, uh, slave labor even, um, labor in the third world under poor conditions, um, springs to mind are these fires we have in factories in Pakistan and Bangladesh with many fatalities. Um, so people have the opportunity through choice, um, a capitalist concept, a uh, neoliberal concept again, a healthy competitive market to choose where they spend their money and to decide um, how they want those companies to change the world on their behalf. Um, and I think we are really going to witness a renaissance in, in politics where these main parties um, are dwindled to almost nothing. Um, we're even seeing whole new grassroots dedicated political movements uh, coming out of uh, Detroit off the back of the uh, Occupy uh, campaign and uh, I think these are um, yeah really quite promising um, to for the people to to retake politics uh, from the super rich and um, hopefully we have a, a brighter future as a, as a consequence cheers